salvation. Now to understand prophecy, you have to understand something. It's never clear looking forward. That's not the purpose of it. Jesus said, no one knows the dates or the times looking ahead except God. But looking back, it makes it clear that God's in control. But you're seeing kind of like mountain peaks of history. And what you don't understand is that many times there are years, millennia even, of valleys that are not being shown. So what we have right here is in 70 AD, the temple's destroyed. And then from 70 AD to 1948, Israel doesn't exist. There is no nation of Israel. We studied that last week. And Jesus foretold this in Luke 21. He said, when you see Jerusalem being surrounded by armies, you'll know its desolation is near. They'll fall by the sword and, they'll, and you will be taken as prisoners to all the nations. Jerusalem will be trampled on by the Gentiles until the time of the Gentiles are fulfilled. Now, what we looked at last week that's amazing is 1948, Israel became a nation again overnight, just like Isaiah foretold. So does that mean we're in the end times? I have no idea. And you don't either. And it's not even good to speculate. But we know the temple has not been rebuilt yet. And at some point in the future, the Jewish people come back into play for seven years. But first, the temple has to be rebuilt. Why hasn't it been rebuilt? One reason. Second most holy shrine uh, for Islam is on the very location where the temple once was. So here's the thing. It doesn't really matter when the end is. What matters is do you trust God with your future? Do you trust this Messiah, Jesus? He, he put evidence throughout history of what he was going to do and why he did it and when he did it. And you can study it. Go, go. I, I have yet to find someone and show me where is this wrong? Where am I missing something? But the more important question still is personal. He created you. He holds his future in your hands. You don't know the future. So why try to play God? Why not trust the God who says... My plan is to prosper you, not to harm you, to give you a future and a hope. 